fashion sewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to fray the edges of your fabric. Here I have two examples of frayed edges on fabric. The first one is on the crosswise grain of the fabric and you can see this beautiful fraying on the edge. The next one is on the lengthwise grain of your fabric and as you can see it's a lot more fuller. Now this is a beautiful decorative finish to any sewing project and that is what I'm going to show you how to do. The first example is the crosswise grain. The only tool that you're going to need is a straight pin and we're going to be using that to pull away the fibres from the edge of the fabric then get your finger in form and just pull. I've got quite a few there. It's quite an easy process to do on the crosswise grain. On the lengthwise grain it's a bit more difficult. I can pull about three at the same time and you just keep on doing this until it reaches the desired length example I'm going to show you is the lengthwise grain. Again you just need your pin and you're going to get the fibre the thread of the fabric and pull that away and you're using the pin to tease it away and with the lengthwise grain it's a bit more a slower process if you want to pull more than two strands of thread. Let's see if I can get two here and then you can see it can be a bit fighting for attention but it is, it's a patience that you'll need to do this technique but it is a beautiful decorative finish to any sewing project and as you can see it gets a little bit tangled but you expect that when you're doing it on the lengthwise grain with just a little bit of patience you can end up with lovely frayed edges as in these two examples just to note, if you're doing it on the crosswise grain, it may be a good idea just to do a very small um, width of stitching just along the edge, just to keep it in place. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the lengthwise grain because it tends to stay in place anyway. But as you can see, there are different effects and do give it a go. If you're looking for something different and decorative for a sewing project, why not give this technique a try? Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment box below and I will see you next time.